Hi everyone, it's Ro and today I'm going to be talking about The Winner's Crime by Marie Rutkowski. This is the sequel to The Winner's Curse. I read The Winner's Curse not too long ago. It definitely was not one of the best books I've ever read. For me, it only really got exciting the last third of the book, but the ending did make me want to read this one. However, I am sort of disappointed with this one. Uh, I don't really know how to feel about it. After I finished it, I was sort of like, really? I'd probably give this one three and a half stars just because I don't feel like a lot happened at all in this book. So if you haven't read The Winner's Curse, I'll tell you just a little bit about it. There's the Valorian Empire that takes over the Harani people's land and we follow Kestrel who is the daughter of like a general in the Valorian army. So she's living in one of the Harani's houses and Basically, Valorians have taken over this city. She's very well known and she's a conspicuous figure in this um, society. She accidentally stumbles across a slave auction where she finds an interest in one of the slave boys up for auction. She feels drawn to him for some reason and she decides to buy him. So Aaron, who is the slave boy, is forced to work in the general's household. This series addresses a lot of issues about class and stuff like that. And like I said, to be honest, nothing really happens in the first book except for the last third that sort of picked up and the climax was really quite enticing. But yeah, this one just really fell flat for me. So if you want to go read it, please do. But I'm just letting you know that I did not have um, a fantastic time while I was reading this series. So when I went to go add the sequel to my to read list on Goodreads, I saw all of the great reviews on there. It had a high average rating and all the reviews were saying how much Marie stepped up in the second book. So obviously I was hyped and I wanted to read this one and I think that was sort of the reason why I did not enjoy this book that much because I was way too hyped for it and it didn't fulfill my wishes. So yeah, as I said earlier, I... Oh my god, it is raining so hard. It literally starts chucking down with rain every time I film a video. Oh my god, it is so loud. I enjoyed the first book slightly more. And by slightly, I mean by a slither, because legit nothing happened in this book. This book, I just felt like this book was mainly focused on scheming plans that did not get carried through. So that was really frustrating. Also, I believe that some of the different directions that were taken with this book were really unexpected for me. Felt like the storylines that happened were not very necessary, which in turn made me want to skip and skim a few pages, which is something I never do. Also, the main couple, Aaron and Kestrel, were hardly in each other's presence through this book, and their relationship is the backbone of this plot, so I think that is why it sort of flopped a little. In saying that though, it's not that while I was reading it, I wanted to put it down. I actually was really encouraged to keep on reading because the suspense that Marie builds in this one is really quite intriguing. However, the suspense doesn't lead up to anything. So when I finished a chapter where something chromatic would happen, it didn't. So that was really annoying as well. So I was waiting all this time for something that didn't happen. The ending to this was very similar to a series I've read before. So if you know what I'm talking about, wink wink, nudge nudge, yeah. Sort of a cop out, I think. But I am still going to finish this series. Because I started it, I might as well finish it. However, I can't say I'm very excited for it. It's really unusual for me to not like a book at all because I feel like I'm really easily entertained. So yeah, this is a rare event. I have been hit by the hyped book disorder and I'm not happy about it because I feel left out. Everyone on Goodreads and stuff enjoyed this book and I really didn't. Anyway, tell me what you thought of it in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you thought of it. Did you enjoy it like nearly everyone else or did you not really enjoy it that much? I couldn't really go into depth for this um, book review because I feel like nothing really happened. So this is sort of a discussion. I will be finishing this series but I'm not pumped for it. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you didn't mind the discussion side of this. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more book reviews and I will see you guys very soon for my August wrap up. Bye! Today I'm going to be talking about Rogue which is the sequel in the Talon Saga.